Good. Good evening, as district clerk, I'd like to call this budget committee meeting to order for April 21st, 2021. Is there a motion for a chair? I have, I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Um, I'd like to move that we elect Jim McCarthy as chair. Okay. A second. Second. Okay. okay. All right. Discussion? You're all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Okay. That's unanimous. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> She's got the name coordinated for me. Right. So. I'm sorry. Who did the second? I did Rick. Um, oh, okay, Rick. Yeah, okay, thank you. I, I got to remember to take the minutes. <laughs> thank you, Phyllis. Yes, thank you very much, Phyllis. Thank you, Phyllis. Uh -huh. All right. So, time to salute the flag. We, okay. Where's the flag? Oh, over there. You move it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So, next on the agenda is to introduce our new members. Um, we have Cheryl Gannon over here. She is taking the seat of replacement seat for Maura Bashaw, who has moved on to the budget committee, I mean, school board, and is now the school board representative for the budget committee. <laughs> so welcome back, Maura. Thank you. Great to have you again. Um, so, of course, Vanessa's reelected. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, too. I forgot. Sorry, Vanessa, congratulations on your reelection. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. I forgot to. <laughs> um, so Annie was also reelected. Yes, I was also reelected. Yes. yes. Congratulations, Annie. Thank you. <laughs> Seems so long ago now. <laughs> Producing new members. Nobody's changed much. So. <laughs> um, okay, so everyone here is present. Every, all members are present. So get that out of the way. Could you, I don't know who this is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, Christine Kinsminski. This is Cheryl Gannon. I've been on for a year. Right. Rick Edelman, Cheryl Gannon, Cheryl Gannon, Rick Edelman. And you know Mary, know and Annie, day. myself, <laughs> Maura, mm -hmm. and Vanessa. So that's got everybody covered, right? So now um, make a motion for somebody for the vice chair. Anyone? Everybody jump. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> Bring somebody from the audience. <laughs> I mean, if nobody wants to do it, then I'll, you know. Okay. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion. Oh, I'll make a motion that we elect Vanessa. Okay. Um, vice chair. I'll second that. Second. Okay. Should we vote? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, why do you think you'd make a good <laughs> All right. So we'll uh, give a vote. start with Rick. You don't uh, even have to do roll call because yeah, we're all here. We're just... Oh, okay. I, but I say yes. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unanimous. No. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So um, for those of us who were members last year, we had minutes from 114.21 um, to approve. Mm -hmm. I apologize. I don't have it in front of me. Um, but I, I believe I said that I was participating remotely and I was not. I was there. It was my husband's birthday and I had to pay for not being there. So. <laughs> Um, if you have the minutes in front of you, if it says I was remote, I was not. And if that's the case, I would make a, a motion to change that. All right. I'm sorry, I'm not bring that up. Well, I I didn't come prepared with that. I was going to print it, and I thought, no, come on. All right.
Do you want a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, if they need to be amended. As amended? As amended. I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second okay. it. All right. Yeah, I can't follow them up. I'm sorry, is this the January 14th meeting? Yeah, January 14th. Yeah, I think, think it does say Mary. Uh, it does say remote? Yeah, oh, it doesn't say remote, but her name is on here. And then it says school administrators join remotely, Tom Ambrose, Matt Angel. Maybe that's what I saw, was it? But your name is on here. It lists, it lists everyone and then it does list you. All right, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna chalk it up to my vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Wait, double but no, but, now? but Mary, this says members remote. Mary Sears declared she is alone within a room. Yeah, no, I was there. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> That, so I, I, know, I'm sorry, I thought you were saying you I'm weren't there. A... No, I was there. <laughs> I was. Oh, okay. Okay. You're listed as there. So that's I what I thought I saw. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I believe we're all squared away. We need to vote. Oh, yes. Rick. Uh, yes. 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 Vanessa? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I was trying to pull them you up on my phone. Cheryl, are you going to vote? Oh, she wasn't there, so she can't. Well, she was at Actually, the meeting. She can, but... if, unless she feels that there was something, unless there's something that she finds, you know, well, questionable. I, I oh. seem to get on the internet to get the minutes, and I didn't have them. Okay, so you're going to abstain? I'll abstain. Okay. Are you on the email list? No. I don't, well, it came to my personal email. I, oh. I got you on my email on the laptop, but when I was trying to communicate with you via the, the SAU 17 on my phone today, um, I could not get to you. Um, I, I sent you the agenda, but I did not send you the meeting minutes as I thought that where she was not a member of the yeah. uh, committee yeah. at that time, she didn't have any say in whether to approve them or not. Doesn't matter. Okay. We passed. We're fine. All right. We're good. <laughs> Okay, so um, tentative budget calendar. That's what I just lost. Why? Mr. Chair? Yes. I noticed that there was only one uh, Q&A meeting scheduled in October. And we usually have two because there's usually follow up questions. There's usually things that are, you know, Tom usually presents the answers to everybody and then doesn't take any more questions that night. So there's right. usually some follow up questions. So we need to have that second series of questions in the second meeting scheduled. And then we can just not hold it if we don't need it. Yeah, I had um, contacted or emailed Matt um, late last week asking him about getting that information ready for us so that we could review it and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And also I was looking to coordinate with him um, the meeting times for that, the dates for that. So mm -hmm. that, that's on my, that was on the radar, but I did not put it on the list. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the, um, the uh, meeting list, the calendar, I mean, all right. So, but that was the only thing I saw in the um, tentative calendar that I thought was yeah. Had been dropped off. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is, we don't have a cord that's compatible with my computer. What do you need? A VGA? Yeah, he's, let me have a HDMI. Yeah, I have a, I have an adapter. You want to? That's what I was looking yeah, for too. An <laughs> Us sales folks always have adapters. On. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was Annie's nemesis there. Oh, it was awful. Just when you thought you had it under control, boom. Yeah. Yep, going along good. And... <laughs> Thank you, yeah. sir. So. The week of Thanksgiving. Hmm. 
Not used to having the books here. We'd probably need to pull down the screen, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't realize that there was uh, going to be a presentation. I would have done that. Thank you. I forgot to ask to have the calendar printed out. So we're just talking about the budget calendar, right? Right. right. Not the actual, because there's no meeting dates and stuff on this. Sorry, is the what? screen new? There's no meeting dates or anything. Is on the it. screen new? There or is. Is it yeah, there is a highlighted in red. It's been here as long as I've been here, but I've only been here a year. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. Squeeze. Because <laughs> we used to have that as a blank wall. So. All right. So. I just didn't think our first one wasn't until November. Okay. Our first meeting? Yeah. Like after no. this one. Yeah, this, um, there's one in August. August? Was it August? October. So the meetings, the BudCon meetings are just in red. Is that what you just said? Yes. Because okay. the only, the next one in red after today is November 3rd. Yeah. You, well, you, that's what's on the agenda too. It says that. Yeah. Okay. So what we've typically done is we've had questions on the current and past budget submitted to the administration by the end of September. And then, um, they give answers in mid-October. And then if we have further questions that next week we have the next set of questions in, and then we have a meeting, another meeting, the end of October, and then the November um, new presentation. And the goal of all that was to put all the old stuff away so that it doesn't keep coming up and you know kind of mix up what we're trying to do as we're preparing a new budget. All right, so. So I'd really like to have those two October meetings scheduled, plus the question deadlines, if that's okay. So uh, end of September, and then middle of October. Yeah, was, yeah, the end of. End of September for all questions, and then the mid mid October, then the third week in October, and then the fourth week for more questions, and then the fourth week in October for a meeting for answers. Yeah, I had your schedule from last year. Yeah. With this, but I don't have it with me here. Yeah. Well, we've had that for a few years, so. Yeah. I do have that. I just don't have it with me right now. Mr. Chair, I had one other thing. Yes. Um, and that is that I would really like, and I believe it's being prepared for the school board finance committee, Maura. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would really like to have an accounting um, on a spreadsheet of which budget line items were used for COVID expenses <laughs> and which ones got reimbursed and so, so where we are, because we got about a million dollars back. I'd really like to know where the money came and went and how it was spent. And, you know, it's going to help us look at next year's budget and, you know, see what wasn't normal about this year. Yep. And if they tell you it's difficult and it's messy, what is our response going to be? Because well, we asked that last we year. We asked that last year when we get to that. <clears throat> Sorry, did we just discuss this in the finance meeting and it was asked that he did that. And I think he kind of agreed that it was going to get done. I, I don't know that this was the first time he was asked for it, but um, when, when the meeting was left, he was going to get that for us. But I thought it was messy last year because of the software, right? So now they have the new software, software, if I'm and, not mistaken, was that implemented this year? Right. And the other thing is in applying for those grants, he had to go through all that stuff. Yeah, that's right. true. Too. So, I mean, he's got the information. He the it's just, he's just got to give it to us. <laughs> yeah. And it's been a year or two. I feel, you know what I mean? I feel like in the beginning, it was probably overwhelming to keep track of that stuff. But I would oh. have to think after a year. Yeah. Worked itself out. Yeah. It's amazing. that I do think the point was made to him today, but like you guys said, I don't, you know, I don't know how much kickback has been. On that before but i can't hear you i i it, the point was definitely made earlier today that that was expected um for that to be done what happens from there i don't know but he, it has been requested 
Great. So I'd like to request it for budget committee too. Yeah. We will echo that concern. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So should we be making those requests now or should we wait till September? He's got the We can request it now. Um, and you know, he's gonna have plenty of time to prepare it for September for um, when we kick it off with the review of the last five years. Yeah. I don't think I, I get the impression the finance committee is not going to wait until September anyways for it. They're too busy. I think it'll be oh, done sooner can, rather than later. We can get it to us and we'll have it before then and we can yeah. have our questions ready about the information he provides for the uh, COVID stuff. Well, I believe on the calendar we have like July 1 having the year, the preliminary year end um, result. And I just like that included in there if we don't get it any sooner than that. So I'd like it July 1. Okay. So that, so that we have time to really kind of go over it and to be formulating our questions for um, September. Because man, they get so busy when the school year starts. I would hate to, you know, have it be something that could be procrastinated and then no time to do it. So we were looking to add, I just want to clarify, we were looking to add three meetings in between before November. Is that what we were looking to do? Or um, so we're gonna add a a an item in the calendar for July 1st. Okay. Where Matt um, generates a report for the COVID um, expenses. And okay. We were um, reimbursed. Okay. Along with what numbers those were charged to. Okay. What line item numbers. Okay. Then um, he's also going to provide us with a spreadsheet for the physical years 2016 through 21, 2021. Okay. And it's up to us to review those over the summertime. Okay. And then we have our questions into them by uh, September 25th or in that area. Okay. So uh, July. We're not actually meeting. So. No, we're not. We're not meeting then. So that is one of the, that September 25th deadline for the questions being put in was something I was going to discuss with Matt. Okay. I thought he would be here. So, um, but yes. Okay. So then I would amend the calendar to <laughs> to show that that was added. Okay. You know, I wanted to get the date correct and see if he had any, you know, week ahead, week ahead or week after. Okay. Um, and then in mid October, we have a meeting and we listen to Mr. Ambrose and Matt tell us the answers to those questions. And then we have to have a follow-up meeting after that with any extra questions because, you know, he doesn't like to have his time wasted answering questions during his presentations. Could we ask, and I, I just want to ask this every year, I would like to request that he gives us a copy of his presentation before the meeting. I second that motion. Because it's really, it is, it's really, really difficult to follow. I mean, I understand his intent, but I would like to think that he respects the fact that as a budget committee, it makes our job easier mm -hmm. and there's got to be give and take, you know, there's got to be, it's not, it won't be, listen, I can say I'm not going to be less focused listening to him. I can just follow along clear. Yep. So, and note on there, things that you still have a question about exactly that, that aren't clear because it was it was very difficult for me to do follow-up questions because I'm just trying to scribble you know what I mean it would be easier to circle it write that in there and be able to make a note you know and to have to go back and forth it was I know he's you know been very adamant about not wanting to do that but I'd like to make that request I can I can understand it maybe on the you know when he presents the recommended budget not giving it to us ahead of time. I can I can understand that because he's building a story and he's, yeah. you know, but this is just plain Q and A. Yeah. It's like, you ask this, here's my answer. So I agree. Yeah. I'm with it. Do you yeah. want to take a take a vote on it to see if everybody agrees with that? I mean, it was a motion and seconded. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she made a motion. I seconded it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, Rick. Yes. 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 All right. Can so we hear the motion? 
what what exactly are we asking him to do? To give We're us asking him to allow us to follow up questions at, during his presentation. Oh um, no, give, no, give us no, 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 no. It was to have a physical copy of the Q and A prior while he's it. while he's presenting it. Right, that's what I was going to say. And let us have the Q and A so we can put up our questions as he's in. I'd like, like to have it prior. Follow along with him for that. But we're not asking. Quite, we're not asking to ask questions. We're just asking to pack it. Right. We didn't oh, vote on asking. To ask questions as it was rolling along to his answers. You know, let's see how many questions there are, and then see yeah. if we can ask that at that time. I okay. mean, if if there are 120 questions, I can understand that that would be yeah. very difficult. But if there's 30, you yeah. know, or or 20 or something, you know, there should be some number where we could be able to have some discussion. Uh, yeah, those are also those meetings. Those two meetings in September are usually joint with the school board. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you have to figure out when. Um, so I'm sorry. The, mo the is the motion that we're getting in before. Yeah, motion prior, prior, to, prior to the meeting. No, no, with with at the meeting. Why? Why won't? Why not? Are you getting prior? Prior, prior, I mean, even a few yeah. days prior would be helpful. I mean, I think though that they're answering those questions pretty much right up to the last minute. Mm -hmm. I don't think this because, and I think we're constantly email. We have deadlines, and then we're. I feel like we're still kind of asking stuff too. I, I think to ask for it a couple of days in advance is. I, I just I think that might be a lot on them because. Okay. Why don't we just, why don't we why don't we ask to get them the night before the meeting? Okay. Sometimes they're finishing them that morning. They really are. Or or prior to the start of the presentation. Sure. You know, a happy medium. Just yeah, so I mean, look, for, for me, if, if you give me 100 questions, you know, at a meeting, don't don't bother. And I mean, I'm not I'm either going to sit and listen to the person speaking or I'm going to read. Mm. So, I mean, even if you get on the night before, they're not going to add 100 more questions the next morning. They're going to add, however, you know, what, 10, maybe. So at least you'll have the bulk of them and you get a chance to digest it the night before the meeting. Yeah. So what's the motion? <laughs> well, so, just for the minute. You can amend it if you want. Motion. Motion. Is this something? Yeah, we, we already need? passed that one, but you can make another motion. Wow. Do we even, is this something we need to take a vote on or is this just something we ask the superintendent? I, I think it would just be an ask of Matt and the superintendent, right? Right. I don't, I'm not sure why we're taking a vote on it. Sure. Sure. Sorry. Well, I would say that. It would show him that the committee is in agreement and it yes. would give him time to prepare mm -hmm. or to respond to us why he thinks it's not possible or to have some negotiation. We just wait to talk to him. If it's just Jim, you know, I think showing the unity of the group one to have it might mm -hmm. help to spur his. Agreement. I, you know, I get that. I think that we're now we're starting to debate. Do we get them that morning, right before the night before, a couple of days before? Like, I feel like we should be a little. I'd like to be able to have an open conversation. The board has unanimously requested that we get these, but I think it should be a conversation. For I don't. I'm not sure that we need to be sticklers that this is when it needs to be. I think we should allow him to have that conversation with Jim. Okay. I can go with that. Sure. All right. Jim, ask from the night before, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the Pretty night before with sugar on is a reasonable. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just yeah. saying, I think it should be a Eat conversation. With that. We're going to sit yeah. here. We, we could sit here and debate for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you ask for one thing and then you to compromise. A right. Bit, go. Kind of yes. Back with. And even if there's some questions missing, you know what I mean? Then still, it would allow us to process a majority of them, even if. He said, you know, we'll advise tomorrow or something like that and whatever he still needed to wrap up in the morning. Sure. He's not doing the whole thing in the morning, I'm sure. So. Right. So if they don't have 10 done that night before. Yeah. Well, be, if they don't have 15 done. It'd be better he than He hands nothing. it over to us. Yeah. You'll have it's a better book. than nothing. Yeah. Right. Sorry. I just want to clarify one thing. I'm sorry. So, um, again, I don't know why this is, like, not just – refreshing any memories in my head but so when we request i know we have to submit the questions by the 25th but what date is it july 1st that we're requesting they give us that budget information for the prior years mm -hmm. okay i just thank you because yeah. that's the close of 2021 i just wanted to add it to my calendar 
Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry, Cheryl. So, could we make another? Could I make another request? For. Um, and I don't know. They may already be planning this. Is to have the reorganization expenses somehow separated out because I know we had gotten estimates of what the two-year cost of the reorganization would would be. Okay. And I don't know if, like I said, they might be planning on doing that anyway, but I'd like to see that separately because, again, that's an expense that's not going to be recurring. Right. Does anybody, I have a question. Annie, yep. Does anybody know, we have, we had a lot of one-time expenses this year because of COVID, but they weren't budgeted. I don't think they come out of the default budget next year, but is that, is that the case? I was hoping Matt was here to clarify that. I asked that question in our Q&A last year, and that. they said um, that they were not coming out of the default budget because I forget what the reason was, um, because they were not budgeted probably. Mm -hmm. um, and that there were some grants maybe that were offsetting some of these expenses. And that's when they got into the, it's not clear. So yes, mm -hmm. a final accounting of all of that will, will help us to. Well, I think to Cheryl's um, point, there were things that were budgeted on the reorganization, I believe. Yep. But I'm not 100% sure. So it well, it was a two year process. It was a two year proposal. And so, if we could have a final accounting of how that measured up to plan or estimate, right. that will help the community to better understand because there's always questions about that floating around. Yeah. Okay. Especially like with intervention, people are like, you know, we couldn't do it. What's happening with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Intervention that didn't happen this yep. year. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Anything else anybody wants to bring up before we take a dive into the calendar? Okay, so um, the meetings that we have <laughs> scheduled in this tentative calendar are highlighted in red. And uh, the first one you see is today. And then in um, July 1st, we're supposed to be getting the spreadsheets from the fiscal years 2016 through 2021. That's up for us to review for over the summer and then uh, provide questions around September 25th. Allow the administration to answer those questions and provide them uh, those questions back to us on the third week of October. And then in the fourth week of October, we would have a follow up meeting if required. Um, so at that third at the meeting in the third week of October is when um, we'll be getting the answers from the administration. I think it's the second week in October, Jim. Okay. The cool. second week in October, because then you have another week to get in new questions for them to answer it. And then another week for, for them to put it, get the answers Okay. to meet the end of October. All right. I'll check how the skeleton loop it went last, week, uh, last year, but we'll work it out. How does this how does this work where we're missing a lot of days? Do we approve the this calendar? We have um, what? Or what? So this how calendar, are we are we like do we approve it? And yeah. I'm just saying, how do we approve it if we're missing some dates here? Well, we go ahead and um, submit our meeting requirements. Okay, so then, you're going to be you're going to be submitting. We want the second Thursday yes. of October. Okay. Yeah. So okay, those, that's what we're saying right now is mm -hmm. the second week of October. Yeah. Whatever that Thursday is. Okay. Yep. 
Gotcha. And then the fourth week in October is going to be a um, possible meeting for uh, follow up questions and answers. Then our next meeting after that is November 3rd, and that is um, a joint meeting, and the that will be on Thursday. Um, yeah, school board and uh, who's hosting that? No, it's a Wednesday because that's being uh, hosted by the school board. And then November 12th. Um, is deadline for all budget questions to be submitted to the administration. Can't see that. Except, do you want them to the administration or to come through you? No, they would come to me. Yeah. So they got to be they got to be to us by uh, they got to be to me by September 11th. Um, November. November. I mean November 11th. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, final questions uh, questions to me for the 11th. Um, so that way I have time to format them and get them all over to. The administration on the 12th. Would you please scroll down on your screen? Oh, I'm folks sorry. Folks at home who choose to watch will follow along. Yep, my bad on that one. All right. So further down here on the. Yeah. November 3rd. Jim? Yes. Could I suggest that you um, have a conversation with um, Dawn about, you know, whether they want to have these Q&A sessions joint? And usually if they do, then usually we do kind of one on a Wednesday, one on a Thursday to accommodate both boards, okay. make it easier. I didn't recall that happening last year. Yeah. Did? Yeah. Okay. Several years now. All right. It, did they join us last year? Yeah. 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 I don't even remember. Or that. I think we joined them. Uh, yeah, we were out in the gym. Yep. No, I don't know if it was two times though. No, we right. didn't have two of them. Yeah, it was just. But was yeah, he one. presented it jointly. We were out in the yeah. gym. Remember, it was a really bad audio system. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and you had a cough. Oh, did she? <laughs> 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 <Even her> laws <laughs> yeah. That's right. Now I remember. <laughs> okay. So then um, November 12th is deadline for the budget questions to be submitted to the administration. So, Jim, yes. you want us to submit them to you by the 11th. Is there a time deadline for that? Is it 5 o'clock also? 5 o'clock. Okay. And this will be routed to us via email or uploaded into our shared folder? Yes, I'll yeah. upload all the questions into the shared folder. Thanks. And there'll be a new one for? Yes, there'll be uh, I'll set up a year. new one this, for this year. OK, thank you. OK, on the 18th, um, November 18th? Yes. What typically, if 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 Tom ends up doing it like he has in the past, again, we'll ask for the Q&A ahead of time, right? or at, at the meeting physically, um, whatever you figure out, you know, for the, for the first question thing. Yep. But if, if he doesn't allow any, you know, further questions at that meeting, that's not probably gonna be enough. It, it hasn't been. I mean, if history is true, you know, if history repeats itself, it's not enough. We don't get enough detail and depth and thorough answers on one pass. So what it, which are you talking about? The November 18th meeting? Yeah, the November 18th. Okay. So I'm just saying, usually we need another round of questions. And so December 2nd very well may be another round and then begin to prepare the budget. But hopefully it's more of a give and take round so that if something's not clear, we can say, you know, that's really not clear. Could you could you elaborate on that? One comment or kind of request I or suggestion I made last year to them was um, and I think they somewhat did it was sort of coupling questions together rather than having each question individually written. If there was five questions with pretty much the same answer. They don't have to break. 
I personally, and I don't know if they're just for transparency, trying to write the question exactly as it was. Um, but if we're going to be asking the same question, I'm, I don't mind them putting it into one question or paraphrasing or, or, or whatnot, if that helps to maybe even get to more Q and A or, or whatnot, because there definitely are a lot of questions and it takes up a lot of time. So I, I'm, I'm not opposed if stuff gets kind of coupled together. I don't know. I don't know how everyone feels about their question maybe being. Well, that's one reason that we send him to Jim is so that he can take ours and kind of cobble them together and put them, you know, put to, them all underneath the same so line it's, item number. And so you're just suggesting that basically when the school board questions come in, that the same thing be done um, with any budget well, I questions. I feel like that didn't happen last year because I remember when Matt or Tom was reading it, there were like typos on there and they're like, nope, this is exactly as it came in. I, I don't, I guess I don't know enough about the process of how it was put together, but it, I was under the impression it was pretty much copy paste sent to them. It was. Copy, and, paste, sent to them. and so what I'm saying is if they, if they got it and they're like, wait a minute, Jim's asking the same question. Moore is asking, she's referring to line item 18. Like I'm just saying, I'm okay. If they want to take your question, my question and make it one question. I don't, I don't need to have the redundant question. That should be happening with Jim before he sends them to Matt. Yeah, okay. so but that's what you're saying that's not what happened. Well, he I was think new. what you're referring to is that he um during that presentation he got to another line item and said if you go back to this previous line item, we cover that. Mm -hmm. So I think there was a similar question on line item 23, and he went right. back and referred to line item yeah. 18 on that. Yeah, the answer uh, could apply to multiple line items, and, but he and I'm a, I, and I would, pr yeah, I like that too. Just them being able to say this, but if it was the same line item, is what I'm saying though. Mm -hmm. If uh, I ask line item 23 and you ask line item 23, I don't need my I don't need my question repeated. Just skip mine or just okay. Join them. The that's that's all. See, I so that. maybe that's for you. Maybe for you, I'm saying I'm okay with you taking my question and combining it with your question. You don't need to give my question verbatim to the superintendent. Okay. Did you do that last year, Jim, or no? Did you just- I just copy and pasted. All of them. I not so, anybody's questions. Okay. I didn't want anybody to um, not get their answer that they were looking for. Yeah. Because if I, I was thinking that if I cobbled any of the questions together, stay in this mask, um, that the- point that the specific member um, mm -hmm. committee member was looking for may get overlooked yeah. and not answered as a separate line item for that line item if you see what i'm saying yeah okay so i think if i could if i could suggest that if there's two on a line item number 23 mm -hmm. that you just put both questions in that same thing the you same know box. yeah the same box okay instead of having two different boxes I mean, not rewrite the not rewrite what is being asked because I understand absolutely what you're saying. There might be some intent that somebody has that you might miss, but um, not interpret correctly. Yeah. But just to and you know that's really rare that you get both two questions on one line item. Actually, that happened a couple times last year. Yeah, it did. I, I feel like when it comes to the teachers and um, like health insurance or something, why was health insurance? Why was it so much lower for this line item and this line item? Two different people asked the same question, but it was the same answer. Mm -hmm. And it was the line. same, and it was the same, maybe it wasn't the same exact line item, but it was the same, it was just a different person. Same idea, yeah. yeah right. That's all. I think what you're thinking of is that they broke out the uh, teacher's health insurance requirements and costs we're separate from the uh, support staff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so I think that's where we are. Or the, yeah, uh, but it, I'm just saying there could be two. I think that like there could be two, like it could be two teachers that have, why, why did the librarians, somebody could say, why did the librarians health insurance go down? And then somebody could say, why did the principal's health insurance go down? So you could combine. You could combine health insurance it, question. The question because. Combined. The answer is because neither of them took it. 
<laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah. It sounds like sounds like we're asking or giving you permission to review the questions that you receive yep. and make a decision if there's repetitive questions and then carve them out and maybe you send them back out to the group for approval before you send them in. Sure. That Sounds that's a, yeah. Are you going to have time to do that? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm just thinking about it. If they are the day it's, before you have to send them out. Do you have some time to do all that? Send them back to us and for us to approve them. I think we need well, to give him authority to do it. I, I, there wouldn't I'm be fine. Any, there wouldn't I'm be fine with that. To it because there was no approval to start off with. Yeah. Last year there wasn't any. It was just taking the questions. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just take and put them. Uh, I'll have the the. Um, you were copying line paste. items in an Excel spreadsheet, and then is as I get a question, I'll just insert a row, put it in the insert a row, put it in there, and then break it down, and then copy paste that out of and put it into the. Uh, and we'll trust that you're basically yeah. intelligent. If you see duplicates, just for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the um, vice chair follow up on all that. <laughs> Great idea. Hey, <laughs> just sort it all by the uh, I'm fine. glad you didn't catch that right? last year. Yes. Just sort it all by the codes, the major, the minor, whatever the. Yep, it all goes back. It'll help you to consolidate. Yeah, that's why we have that uh, format that will be in this year's folder. Yeah. That we, uh, I'll have somebody teach me how to do a V lookup just so I can make sure if there's any duplicates on the form and then just kind of link them to one another. There you go. Drop them in Excel. I'll teach you how to do the V lookup. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So on December 2nd, going back to that, I think that um, follow up questions and begin budget pre preparation. And so we should submit our follow-up questions the week before, which is probably getting close to Thanksgiving. So whatever, you know, whatever deadline makes sense there, Jim. Yeah, so week before would be Thanksgiving. So it would be maybe the Tuesday before Thanksgiving or something or? When is the 18th is the joint meeting? Thursday. I can tell you after November 18th, if I have questions, I'm going to have them. I'm going to know them by Monday. You know, I mean, I'm probably going to know them by Friday. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. Right after the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't we, why don't we make it quick that we get it to you so that you can get it turned around so that you can prepare for Thanksgiving. All right. What do you go for a date on that, Vanessa? The 23rd, Tuesday. Is the 23rd said, is what? Tuesday? Is that what you said, Tuesday? Yeah, or well, Monday, so I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm thinking we should get it to Jim by Monday so okay. that we can get it out on Tuesday. So the 22nd would be Monday then. Yeah. Sounds good. You said the 22nd Monday? Yeah, Monday. Yep. And then you'll submit them on the 23rd, right? Okay. Will the school board be joining us for those when the administration answers our questions? Uh, they are. The school board is at our meeting on the 18th. Okay. So if we do another follow up on December 2nd, that would be another Thursday. December 2nd, yep. That is our next meeting after the 18th. So maybe it would be on the 1st, is what you're saying, Cheryl? Right. At the school board meeting? I mean, again, talk to Dawn about it. Alternate. Yeah. Talk to Dawn about it and see. Do you follow that, Jim? Yeah, I'm following that you guys want to have the another meeting on December 1st. First. Because we alternate and we're hosting on November 18th. Yep. If the school board were in fact to host a second one, it would be on a Wednesday night, which is the school board meeting day, which okay. would be December 1st. And I would think if there are any follow-up questions, the school board members are going to want them answered before they recommend a budget to us. Yeah. Right. That's <laughs> so. what I was going to bring up is that if there's anything that they have on December 1st, it's not going to be clarified. We can't, they can't present the recommended budget to us, or preliminary budget. 
So we, would we make the first and the second that week? Is that what you told you like to do? Yeah. Joint meeting. Okay. Yep. But then we wouldn't do the budget preparation. It would just be Q and A then, right? Well, on the first. On the first, if it was this, if we opted for a second round of follow up, it would only be Q and A. But if we didn't opt for it, then we would still have our meeting on the second. Right. For budget preparation. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Thank you. We need a bell. <laughs> so we will have. Well, they will be on the first but we may not have a joint meeting, mm -hmm. right. but we will have our meeting on the second. There you go. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We will have our meeting on the second. Yeah. Yes. We may have the one on the first. Um, Does that make sense? You, yes. Oh, okay. I understood it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Even before we started talking about it. Um, and then, um, December 9th, the budget committee approves the preliminary budget. And the 16th is the joint meeting, the tentative joint meeting between the school board and the budget committee at the school board regulate, uh, regular meeting if needed. Then January 6th, is our next meeting for the uh, planning of the public hearing. Okay, go back Go back to the 18th, or the 16th. 16th, <laughs> yep. Um, when are we going to start putting together our uh, planning hearing? I don't think, I think if we wait till January 6th, that's kind of a long time. I think just some budget committee approves preliminary budget. Um, you talking about the presentation for the public hearing? Yeah. Um, if we if if we have a meeting that week before what day is Christmas this year? What day of the week? Like day of the week? Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Nice. There you go. Saturday. <laughs> Thank you, Mar. Where were you last year? <laughs> yes, I did mean what day of the week. <laughs> I do know the date. So the twenty third would be Thursday. Twenty fourth, twenty fifth would be Saturday. Yeah, we always run into this with the holidays, but I'm thinking I'm thinking we need to meet on the twenty third. Well, that's to start kicking off the uh, the the presentation. Yeah. How about we uh, get the first round of the presentation going on the ninth? Because that's where we just that's where we approve the preliminary budget. Okay. Just slide right into that. Just slide it right into that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> We're going to begin the um, budget presentation on the ninth. So that means I'll start. Yeah. Putting together a format for it tonight. January 9th? No, December no, 9th. December 9th. December 9th. December 9th. I like that better. December 9th. Yeah. That's when we approve the budget and we're going to do the presentation. Yeah, we'll start working on it. We have like a deadline when we <laughs> won't go meetings over a certain time. What's that? We're not going to be here till midnight doing that. No, we will not be here. <laughs> we were very efficient last year. We haven't had any of those. <laughs> yeah. I think it no, was the latest um, we had, 10 maybe? Yeah, last year's rolled in pretty, rolled through pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, I didn't, uh, I, I don't think I get to tell a very good, or present it as a good storytelling thing um, last year, even though I went over it a few times. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, follow the format of the budget a lot more closer and discuss the high the points out of it and you know bring that to you guys let you see it and then we'll bring in the information how you guys would like to add great um okay so the ninth we're going to uh begin the uh planning the presentation and then the 16th is the tentative joint meeting with the school board and budget committee at the school board's regular meeting if needed. So the 16th may not be needed. I don't want to be doing anything Christmas week. Right. So stay away from that. No, I think that's great. And why would that meeting be needed? 
on the 16th. Yeah. If our budget numbers are different. Yeah. To see if we can hash out, you know, a, what makes sense or if we end up agreeing to disagree. So can I ask a question? I'm sorry. <laughs> So, raise your hand. <laughs> Vanessa? so just help me clarify again, because this all feels new to me every year. December 2nd, the budget committee meeting budget preparation. So that's when we go, you know, we discuss the budget, right? The school boards, the, um, the first, the school board's going to um, approve their preliminary budget. Yeah. And that's hopefully we're going to be having a joint meeting there with them. And at that joint meeting, we will be going over the answers to any follow-up questions from November 18th. Yeah. If there's any, if there is any, yeah. And we said, regardless, December 2nd meeting was going to happen. Yes. So then, but December that's only if we didn't have the I guess what, like, if we have a Q&A the night the first and they can't submit their budget to yeah, us. They can. Yeah, they can. If they have a Q&A the night before, they can still submit the budget to Yeah, us. they can vote on it. They'll get their answers and they can make a recommendation. Is that yeah. typical? Um, yeah. it, it wouldn't be any different than what they're doing. Okay. So the, on the first, they're meeting. Okay. And they're going to approve what they discuss and hash out. Yeah. And if there's the follow-up questions, then they can deal with that a little bit more, okay. right? So then on the second, we get what their proposal is, their preliminary budget. Yeah. And then we begin our discussions about it. Okay. So last year we began our discussions and we approved it the same night, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we did. Okay. So then that ninth, because I was just trying to hash this out in my head, how much time we would have on the ninth, because I was thinking the ninth would be when we were doing a bulk of the discussion. And I felt like there was no time at the end last year, but it's earlier than I was anticipating. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chair? Yes. I have a, I have a pet peeve. Um, I, I really don't like to call um, the superintendent's budget recommendation a budget proposal or, you know, and I really don't like calling the school board um, approval of, what does it say here? Um, da, da, da. Approved, pre pre approved preliminary, budget. preliminary budget. They don't approve the preliminary budget. They make a budget recommendation to us. I just think the verbiage needs to be more clear of okay. what role the different boards have, right. you know, and what role the superintendent does. You know, he, he makes recommendations to the school board. The school board makes recommendations to us. And then we prepare a budget and recommend it to the voters. So I just like the words used properly. <laughs> it's just a pet peeve. I get it, but it bothers okay. me. Good catch. So uh, we'll have uh, we'll have Matt make his correction to the uh, calendar based on your comments at thank you eight fifty three in the meeting. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we have finished off the ninth, went on to the sixteenth, the sixteenth. And we're into January. Sixteenth was the tentative joint meeting, school board at the budget committee, regular meeting if needed. All right. So now we're on to January sixth. Uh, which is planning for the uh, public hearing. Uh, that was the one that we did in the auditorium last year where we had that huge crowd of two people show up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, four. Four, Cheryl and uh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Yeah. We were the only non-budget <laughs> budget committee non members. Non-SAU members. <laughs> right. So now this year, if Mike comes, he'll be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you funny all right then the public hearing yep yeah, then the um public hearing is on the 13th does anybody remember what the catchphrase was from last year at that meeting about the vote to suppress any what? considerations 
But what? Make a motion to restrict reconsideration. Yeah, yeah. make a motion to restrict. Yeah, but that's not at this. That's at the. That's at the. Um, that's at the. Uh, that's at the first deliberative. deliberative. The, the first deliberative. That it was seeing that that popped into my head how we were talking right. about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So everybody good with January thirteenth? Yes, and we will have paper copies. We didn't because of COVID and timing and stuff like that. I mean, there were some there were some problems about oh. that. Yeah, but typically there are copies. I thought, yeah, the thought I thought the catchphrase was the microphones aren't working. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> yeah. You're <laughs> muted. Uh, and then we could get a break on uh, January 20th. Um, so January 20th is when the completion of the MS-27 documentation is done. <laughs> and Matt comes around and gets to sign off on it. Uh, now... January 20th is when he has to have it completed by and we have to sign off on it. So if he can get it done before the 20th and we meet up with him and no, no, I'd like to say that we need to meet on the 20th because we need to have heard at the public hearing what people had to say. And then we have to vote to reaffirm and we also have to vote on the warrant articles. Um, I thought we wrapped all that up into uh, the um, public hearing last year good but you know but if there's some if there's some stuff that comes in from the public that we need to really oh, think about between those two dates yeah then, <coughs> then we really need to give it consideration we, we might do it on the 13th and then just cancel the 20th but i think we ought to plan on meeting on the 20th to consider the public hearing okay all right but so anyways it says meeting meeting may be required But that would be that would be where we would finalize the our budget recommendation would be on the 20th. Because we can't finalize it <laughs> until after the public hearing. And vote on warrant articles. Money bearing warrant articles. Well, we did do that at the hearing last year. OK. Yeah. And we might. No, I'm asking. I think, yeah, I'm just yes, saying. Yes, we did. I mean, if the hearing's 15 minutes long and, you know, there's really nobody there and there's not much input, then we yeah. certainly could have a meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no motions to amend or anything, yeah. you know. No, I, I agree with the idea to keep it in there. Just, I just wanted to validate my head. All right. Uh, <laughs> so then we meet again on March 8th. Oh, that's the voting. Where's the, oh, there's the uh, deliberative. Okay. Yep. And also, yeah, February 9th. also on the 20th, any changes that you're going to be making to the um, presentation as a result of the public hearing, uh, you know, would be, would be discussed if, if they were needed, or it could be done at, on the 13th, as Vanessa was saying, depending how much time there is. Yeah. So the Fe February 9th, we, we need to attend that, right? Yeah. Can Would it be possible to put, when you make the revisions, to make that in red? Just so we know that that, because you have all the other meetings in red. Oh, okay. Right, when I when we go back and look at this, this way, when we're going through our calendars, we know we have to put that date. Yeah. Okay. I would think the school board would want to have theirs in green or something so that, you know, the, all the black ones about the days that things have to go in the paper and stuff, you don't really need to pay attention to. <laughs> and there should be noted snow date the 12th or the 10th. Oh, yeah. Do you recall in, in your time here ever having to reschedule due to inclement weather? No. Me either. So that would, uh, that wouldn't be a good Zoom. Some voting I'd like, the March voting I would like to have done. If you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So then, okay. 
All right. So that wraps up the calendar. Public comments. <laughs> Pretty quiet. All right. Committee comments. Vanessa? Um, no, I'm looking forward to a new year. All right. Excellent. Should be fun. How about you, Cheryl? No, nope, I'm no. all set. Christine? I'm just waiting to catch up with all of this. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Good. Good. Anything good? Very. I'm all set. All right. Nothing there. So our next uh, Thursday meeting. So this uh, in the agenda. That's why I had a TBD in here, and that was to capture the um, need for the meeting to follow up after those questions uh, to be submitted on the twenty fifth. So I will let that be known um, for the follow up. Chair, when you have the calendar um, finalized, after you've talked to Don and gone over it with Matt or whatever, and you have the, and the calendar that we've discussed, could you send it to me so I can attach it to the minutes, or I'll just do the minutes and send them to you and you attach it? I don't, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll have, we're not going to get a finalized calendar by the time our minutes need to be in. Mm -hmm. uh, because Matt is waiting for the BDA or DBA. Um, so it has to go through. We go through, we set up our stuff. The, okay. the school board sets their stuff up. Then it has to go to the attorney and then it has to go to the DBA. Wow. And the <laughs> DBA signs off on it. Okay. Well, it's good that we, it's good that we don't, have any meetings until October, so it gives them time to get it in shape. Yes. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to get a uh, an approved um, <laughs> calendar until Matt has all of the uh, administration stuff straightened out with the state. Okay. Um, and he mentioned that last year. I do remember him saying something about that last year. Um, so. We honestly, we never did get an approval calendar. An approval calendar. I know. <laughs> so, gotta pay attention to that one again this year. Uh, so it'll be 7 p.m. here in the library, um, if not required, uh, which I'm. It will be 11:3 uh, for the superintendent's recommendation. And that'll be uh, at 6 p.m. in the high school library because that's being hosted by the uh, school board. Mm -hmm. So. Be good. Excellent. Mary, motion to adjourn and Rick second. And you're adjourning at 802? Yep. Okay.